let's look at how our children can get caught in the middle of the conflict that their parents may be having. First, please know that your children are always watching you. They watch you when you're doing good. They watch you when you're feeling sick. They watch you when you're having a disagreement, whether it's the lady at the grocery store who miscounted your money, or it's with their mother and father who there's something going on that you guys don't agree with. They are always watching to see how in life they should be or what they have modeled for interacting with the people around them. They sense your change. Your children have been with you since they were since they were small, since they were babies. And when you used to hold them in your arms, they could tell when you would get upset. And lots of times they got fussier too. This continues as they grow. When they walk into the when you walk into the daycare or you walk in to get them after school and you've had a bad day, they can sense this. They can sense it by the energy coming off you, they can look at your face. They can see how you walk in, maybe you're a little shorter with them, you aren't smiling when you see them, you didn't give them the big hug that they're used to having. And this keeps going as they get older, but they are aware of where you're at emotionally because they know you that well. Next, you have to realize that your kids are probably hearing more than you think. I meet lots of parents as I work with families who say, well, they were asleep in the next room. And I look at them and say, don't count on it. You may have thought they were asleep, but kids are known to pretend. Think about what, what happened with you when you were growing up and your mom and dad had a discussion or were having an argument. You know, if you weren't present, did you try to, did you try to be where you could hear it? Um, did you try to see what was going on? Did you ask questions? Your, I just want you to be aware. Your children are aware and probably hear and maybe see more than you think they actually are. Next, I need you to think about how your children listen to you. If you're talking to them about some problem that's going on in your life or the, some problem that's going on with the family at home, as they listen to your side of the story, they take it for what it is. They take that as the, as the truth. They take that as 100%. They don't know how to filter out the emotions. They don't know how to, to see that maybe that's your take and maybe there's another side of the story. They don't have the wisdom for that. Then they go listen to the other parent maybe and they hear the same story, somebody else's perspective, and your children don't have a way to distinguish between the, the commonality and why there might be a difference and they believe both stories to be true. They listen to each parent individually. And finally, your children love you unconditionally. They love you regardless of right or wrong. They love you regardless of whether you had a good day or a bad day. They love you regardless of whether you've been nice to them or not. I think you see this the best in small children um, who, are, who really want to be with you. When you come in or you pick them up or they wake up in the morning, you know, you know what do they do? Mom, Dad, they always act happy to see us. Or if they're not feeling so good, you know, where do they want to be? They want to sit on your lap. They want you to hold them to be comforted by you. They love you unconditionally, and that's what that looks like. And our kids love us unconditionally for years. And they don't, they don't want to have to pick sides. They don't know how to have to pick sides. But they, in loving us unconditionally, you know, it can, it can kind of tear at them when they see mom and dad aren't getting along and they're not able to figure out what the middle ground is between what's going on.